Did you know that aeroplanes use air pressure to measure their altitude? In this video, I'm going to show you how. Your smartphone and tablet have got a lot of um, sensors inside. For instance, a barometer. Now, I like to use this app called Firefox, which uh, has got lots of experiments inside, but also enables you to just read the values of your sensors. For instance, a pressure sensor. Now here on my tablet, I can read the pressure in hectopascals and a thousand hectopascals is equal to a thousand millibars. So if I start the, the app, then I can read the air pressure and you can see the line actually going up and down a bit. Now it's going down and you might think that the air pressure is changing a lot. But if you look at the units along the Y axis where it gives you the air pressure, you can see that it only changes very slightly. So right now, the air pressure is 1020 millibars. Now let's go into the elevator and see what happens next. Okay, now we're inside the elevator and we're going to the third floor or second level above ground level. And we're gonna see what happens to the air pressure as we move up. As you can see, the air pressure is dropping and the wobbly line at the start actually is a very flat line. And if we stay here long enough, then the air pressure, the door will close again, and the air pressure here will also levels off. So here on the third floor, the air pressure is only 1019 millibars. Now, that means that the air pressure has dropped by 1.2, by about 1.2 millibars. And you cannot extrapolate this to very high altitudes, so airplanes actually use a model uh, that tells the airplane how air pressure drops with higher altitudes. And also the model depends on the actual air pressure on ground level, because due to atmospheric conditions, the air pressure will vary between about uh, 950, 60 millibars to up to 1020 or 30 millibars. So you want to get that right, otherwise you're off uh, in your altitude, which can be really dangerous. And another thing is that airplanes will also have to take into account that the earth is not level, but sometimes goes up a bit, uh, for instance, if there are mountains. So I hope you enjoyed this video about uh, air pressure and altitude. Uh, see you, bye bye.